I've always been too intimidated to try out self tanning products, but then I saw this. This is the Isle of Paradise self tanning butter, and it's essentially a gradual self tanner in the form of this green lotion. I think I love the idea of an easy to apply self tanning lotion that's supposed to give my skin this illuminated finish. So I already exfoliated all over this morning. I used my Tree Hut sugar scrub to make sure my skin was as smooth as possible. And since this is a body butter and not like a traditional self tanner, I'm not gonna moisturize at all since this is supposed to do all the moisturizing for me. Oh, I got some on my nose. Stevie smell like a too. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> it smells very um, spa-like, kind of cucumbery. It is very green. I don't know if the camera can see that. It does feel like it absorbs into the skin relatively fast, just like any other lotion. It feels really nice. I'm gonna try to like really moisturize my elbow because I know with other self tanners, this is like a, a tricky spot to get right. Another plus of this product is that there's no guide color, which I guess could be a positive or a negative. It doesn't give you that weird greenish color that some of those foam self tanners give you that you have to like wash off in the shower. With this, you can just apply it and get on with your day. Another thing that makes this a little bit different from other forms of self tanner is that there are no shades. There's no like dark, deep, anything like that. It's just this one tanning product that will maybe tan your skin maybe just give you a glow, definitely moisturize you, but I'm not sure that this is something that's gonna be able to work for everyone in terms of tanning. It says that the tan is supposed to develop in four to six hours, so I'm gonna go eat some lunch, play some Sims, and I'll see you guys later. Hi, so I put some sweats on just so I wouldn't get any self tanner on anything. This self tanner isn't supposed to stain. I'm just very paranoid and I like the idea of me marinating like a chicken under these clothes. I made some pancakes for lunch. I have no idea why. Here's me renovating a cute little apartment in The Sims. I made two roommates who immediately started arguing, but that's life. And then I lied in bed and did nothing. Bye. So this is what my skin is looking like six hours into wearing the Isle of Paradise self tanning butter. And I do see a subtle difference. Something definitely happened here. You can definitely see like lines of demarcation where I just couldn't reach where applying. My skin is slightly tanner than it was before. I'm interested to see how it develops. It's the day after I applied the self tanner and I do think that it developed a bit more since yesterday. I can definitely see my tan more obviously today so that's good. I don't see any splotchy skin happening so I think I was able to get like a nice even color with this. However, there are some parts of me that are a little bit more pale than others. That's completely my fault. Those were just some spots that I missed when I was applying it. But the skin that did get tanner looks even and still a little glowy. Here's how my tan is looking a week later. I feel like the color has pretty much faded at this point, but weirdly, I still think I like this product. You can reapply it daily if you wanna build up the color a bit more, but I just wanted to see how it would last on just one application. The good thing about this is that it didn't get patchy, which is what I was worried about. This product feels like it's definitely more for people like me who just aren't super experienced with self tanners, but still want something easy and foolproof. It's great if you wanna just apply this like a lotion and get on with your day.